Hey, Menorca Navy, I got a special treat for you guys here today. I'm in Steenhatchee, Florida, right on the banks of the Steenhatchee River at the Sea Hag Marina. And I got Captain Chase Norwood here with me off the Chasing Fish. Yes, Captain sir. Chase, it is a pleasure to be here with you. Now, I know some of you guys have seen maybe some other social media out there, and it's showing Captain Chase putting that, uh, that new catamaran to the dock, and we, there's just, oh, he, there, look at the bow thrusters work. Oh, it's amazing to see what a joystick control. Folks, I'm here to tell you, I've been on the boat. There's not a joystick. There's not a bow thruster. I saw the boat come out of the out of the water at the ramp. There's nothing on that, Captain Chase. That's all. That's a little bit of skill in a man who knows what he's doing. Yes, sir. But tell us a little bit about that boat. Now, that's a new boat for you. Yes, sir. What is it? So now I'm running a 42 foot Razor Cat. They uh, they're built out of Louisiana, and the the guys who build a bunch of the big oil rig ships that transfer people and oil right. back and forth from the land. Um, they teamed up with a charter captain who designed a big offshore captain or offshore style catamaran to fish for the tuna over in Venice. And now they're starting to get popular because it's a giant vessel to fish from. And, and that's one thing that amazes me when you get on that man. thing, the deck space in it, you could have a square dance on that boat. Oh yeah, it's a giant boat. How long is it? It's a 42. 42, and it's gotta have an 18 foot beam on it. It's a 12 foot beam. It is massive. <laughs> it's giant. Now you you got quads on that thing. What kind of horsepower you got on that boat? Yes, sir, I got quad 350 Mercury's on 350s. it. 350s, now if you're, if you got those things down on the console on your, on a on a light day, what can what can you get out of that boat? We uh, we typically cruise at 50 miles an hour, and it can run 65 wide open. That's amazing. Now on your trips out of here, and folks, I got to tell you, <laughs> he's been down with three other guys cleaning fish since they got back, and they've been cleaning fish for 45 minutes, maybe a little longer, and they're not slow. <laughs> Is that a typical day, what I saw up there today, what you guys know? Now, what are you guys catching out there right now? So right now, this is our busy season when we're targeting red snapper, gag grouper, red grouper. And um, so we brought in a variety of red grouper, gag grouper, snapper, mangrove snapper, lane snapper, vermilion snapper, a bunch of different bottom fish. And um, so typically, we bring in about 200 to 300 pounds of fish a day, and it varies. It ranges varieties and sizes per day. So today we have That's a bunch why it's of fishing. mangroves. Yep. And then some days we have a bunch of gags. Some days we have a bunch of red grouper. It's just it's fishing. So every day is different. On your typical charger charter, when will you guys head out? We usually leave out at seven o'clock and then return back to the port at five o'clock. You're gonna get a full day of fishing with Captain Chase Norwood. That's there's no doubt about it. Yes, and sir. you guys, what you told me, you're running off sometimes. 70, 80 miles sometimes? Yes, sir. Yep, You're going to find the fish? Yes, sir. Anywhere we have to go. Now, I know you you saw that video up there, and you saw some of the comments that were on that thing. <laughs> Folks, I gotta, I've got i been coming to the Sea Hag Marina for a long time. Chase, I remember you working on uh, moving the charter fleet. They've got a, a, a huge, I shouldn't say charter fleet, rental fleet here at the Sea Hag Marina. If you don't have a boat, you can come, they got him here to rent. But this guy, he was so young, you couldn't see over the console. You would be on the side of the console with the wheel working the throttle, getting the thing in and out of the dock. Like, like you were, like maybe you've been born on that boat. <laughs> when did you start working at the, at, at the marina here? So my dad bought one, the first rental boat to add to our marina in I think 2006, so I think, at 2008, we had like three or four rental boats. And after that, it went from three to four rental boats to 10 to 15, to now we have 24 rental boats. And as soon as we got them, my dad started teaching me how to drive them. Well, you had to. Yeah, so second year in to, to driving rail, or to having rail boats, <laughs> me and this handful of the guys are the people that parked them. And well, that's probably eight years old. That's amazing. <laughs> and that experience that you got just Folks, it transfers into, into what he's what he's doing now with with his charter uh, fishing operation that he's got here. If you want to come to Steenhatchee and catch some fish, look this guy up. He has a web he has a, a YouTube channel as well. It's Chase in Fish. We'll show it to you here on the screen. Chase in 
fish, he can put you on the fish and more than that, you're gonna go and you're gonna have a comfortable ride, you're gonna have a good time and probably one of the most skilled guides, charter captains, that is in this area uh, right here Captain Chase Norwood. Chase, thanks for being with us today. Yes, we certainly appreciate you spending a little time with yes, us. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Norkin Navy, that's all we got for you today. Hey, we're going to remind you, if you like it, hit that subscribe button. No, click on that bell so when we, when we put something out, you'll know it. And most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there. Now, if you guys are in the Steen Hatchie area and want to catch some fish, this young man really knows how to do it. It is quite a treat. And just to watch him move this boat around. And typically he's in around 5 to 5.30 on his daily charters. And this is an evening event uh, to behold, uh, just maneuvering this 42-foot cat uh, back into the slip. And he really does a tremendous job on his charter, very knowledgeable, and a guy that, that if, you, if you want to learn about fishing in the area, uh, offshore, this is one of those guys that you probably would like to spend some time with and make a trip with. It's always fun to be able to get the drone up and get different shots of things. And sometimes we get surprised. And a really neat shot we got was uh, the crew unloading the catch uh, from this charter and just seeing the, the different types of fish, the uh, grouper, the snapper, uh, even had a tuna uh, that they caught on the trip. And it, it's, uh, as you'll see, a pretty big fish box as they fill up a cart to the point that some of the fish start to fall off of the cart. Uh, it's a very, very uh, a rewarding day for this group of, of folks who are out on the boat.
and the Hammond Orca Navy, if you guys are interested in fishing and want to see some just truly great footage of just raw fishing, uh, check out Chase's channel, uh, Chase and Fish, on YouTube, and you won't be disappointed, and you all might even pick up a little pointer or two. And we certainly appreciate the time that Chase took with us. Uh, we know he was busy, and it was a lot of fun meeting him and had to sit down and have a chat with him. Thanks again, Menorcan Navy, for being with us. And once again, we're going to ask you guys to stay safe out there.